Y'all, I made it. I cannot believe I actually made it. I can't believe I made it up the stairs because they almost took me out. <laughs> but I also cannot believe that I actually made it to the end of Vlogtober. Wow. Happy Halloween if you celebrate. Happy October 31st if you don't. I am just so amazed that I actually lasted for all of Vlogtober. I have tried so many times to do something like this. I've tried to do Vlogtober before. I mentioned in my first Vlogtober video that the last time that I attempted it was back in 2020 and I lasted for maybe like seven days or something like that. I didn't even last two weeks. Like <laughs> that is insane to me, but I know exactly why I was unable to last back then. It was because one, I was putting way too much pressure on myself. Two, I was comparing my content to everybody else's else's I was trying to keep up with what they were doing and if it didn't have a certain look to it then I felt like it wasn't good enough and three I just was not committed so this year I went in with an entirely new game plan and I found things that worked for me and I'm going to share them with you in case you decide to do vlogtober next year or if you decide to participate in vlogmas that's coming up in December before I get into that though I want to say thank you Thank you so freaking much to every single last person that tuned in to my vlogs, even if it was just for a minute. Like, wow, people were actually watching my vlogs and were interested in what I was doing every day. Like, I'm a stay at home mom who spends most of her time at home, but being able to share my life as a stay at home mom and just some of the things that I do with my son, the meals that I like to cook, how I spend time for myself and do self care, it has been very, um, good for me because it has enabled me to get out of the mindset of people don't care. No, there are people that care. There are people that wanna see what you have going on. So to those of you who have cared about what I have going on, thank you so much, so much for your support. Now I wanna jump into some things that have helped me on this journey and how I was able to be successful during Vlogtober this year. First things first, I had to set up a realistic schedule and I had to decide on how often I was going to post. I knew that daily vlogs were not gonna work for me because I was not trying to record and edit every single day no that mm -mm, my life ain't set up like that <laughs> i have other things that i'm trying to do around the house like i do a lot of um educational and like teaching stuff with my son and so planning that and actually executing it it takes a lot out of me and just i don't know just life in general i have so many things going on right now i cannot wait to share them with you because i have something so freaking exciting <laughs> coming up for my family and I. Yeah, I can't wait to share that with y'all. So I knew that daily vlogging was not gonna work for me. So I decided on three days a week. That was perfect because I was able to edit vlogs very well in advance. And so I was able to schedule them out. So I actually started vlogging back in like September and I was using that content because I knew I wanted to get back into vlogging. I just didn't know when I was gonna post the content. So I'm really happy that I started to vlog back in September because I was using those initially during Vlogtober. And then like, as I ran out of that content, then I would vlog and you know edit and stuff like that but I always made sure to have at least a week's worth of vlogs edited or you know ready to edit so then I could go ahead and schedule them so my number one tip is to record early <laughs> and edit like as much as you can so that you don't have to edit every single day or you don't get overwhelmed by the editing process. I would set aside like a specific day during the week or two days just depending upon what my schedule was like and just dedicate that time to editing my vlogs. The next piece of advice I would give is don't try to keep up with what everyone else has going on. During this process, I have seen some very, very beautiful vlogs and I was like, wow, like compared to them, my vlogs look so boring, but you know what? it is what it is like this is my style of content there's always room for improvement so as time goes on and as i have the capacity to actually elevate the way in which i record edit and all those things it will eventually come but don't let other people's content like stop you from putting your content out just start where you are people want to see the journey people want to see your growth people really get invested in that type of thing so don't be afraid to just start where you are number three if you start to feel overwhelmed it's okay to take a break like do not feel like you have to force yourself if it's becoming like a burden for you because you don't want to feel burnt out like creator burnout is so real and once you get into that space of feeling burnt out it's hard to get out of that i have definitely been there before i was actually there when it comes to youtube for a very long time september was probably the month where i started to really really get consistent on this platform again and it's because i was so freaking burnt out from creating long form videos and having to edit them so just you know give yourself some time show yourself some grace and don't be too hard on yourself for have fun with it like 
like don't feel like you have to be perfect be your authentic self allow your personality to shine like people want to see who you are that is the purpose of a vlog that is the time where you can really let your true and most authentic version of yourself be at the forefront like if you are a silly person let that come out like for me i'm very introverted so it takes a lot for people to really see my true personality but whenever i'm vlogging it's like it's me and the camera and usually no one is around like sometimes my husband will be here sometimes he won't but for the most part it's just me and i feel like i can really just be silly and tell jokes and try to make up raps like i did in one of my other vlogs and you know just be who i am at my core and it's so much fun and it is so freeing and liberating to be able to share you with the world. Number five, and I am going off the top of my head, like I don't have any notes. I'm really just trying to think about all of the things that have helped me when it came to vlogging and being successful with Vlogtober is just be realistic, you know? Know what will work for you and know what won't. I guess it kind of goes back to like my first point where I was saying don't try to keep up with what everyone else is doing. Like if you are unable to vlog every single day, that's okay. You can vlog weekly. You can vlog a couple of times a week. It's really just whatever fits your schedule. But no matter what, like if this is something that you want to do, just do it. Just go for it. It's scary at first because you're like, oh, I'm letting people into another side of me. I'm letting them see this part of my world. And, you know, it's a bit scary opening up like that. But speaking of that, also I want to mention like you can share, but don't overshare. Like always keep yourself protected. Always be safe. Like don't ever show any identifying like information like your house outside of your house house number you know even neighborhood like I never would record in our neighborhood I will wait if I was ever in the car I will always wait until I'm well away from our neighborhood because yeah people are crazy <laughs> so you know just be safe be smart and have fun I think those are probably my main tips but I do have a blog post where I discuss like how you can help get some improved engagement and really have a little bit more success on YouTube if you want to check that blog post out you can find it down below in the description box because I did a little test in September. I wanted to really see how I can maximize my space and take up space here on YouTube. And so I did a few, um, tried a few new things um, and they were successful. Like they were very fruitful. Like my reach, my engagement, my, my money, <laughs> my subscribers, all of my things are in the green and it is such a great feeling. So if you want to know how I did that, then go ahead and check out the blog post. It'll be down there for you. But with that being said again thank you thank you so freaking much for you know being here being a part of the it squad because you are it okay you are what makes my community and i'm so thankful to have you here speaking of that if you want to be connected on my other social media platforms then don't be afraid to you know follow me on instagram give me a follow on tiktok a lot of the content that i share is different based upon the platform so if you want to stay connected on all of them then make sure you give me a follow thank you so much for tuning into vlogtober I'm thinking about doing Vlogmas. I'm not 100% sure just yet, but I do have some vlogs that I already have in the queue, so I need to edit them and put them up. I'll probably be doing a weekly vlogs from this point forward until we get to Vlogmas and I make a decision on what I'm gonna do with that. <laughs> but anyway, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.